Rick Lasky, and for today's Pride and Ownership Minutes, I'd like to visit with you about the fire service history, about our history, about why we exist. Now, we don't have enough time to get into where it all started and how it's progressed to where we're at today. My point is, and, and this is actually based on a program that my very good friend, technical editor for fire engineering, Professor Glenn Corbett, one of the smartest people I've ever met in my life, um, a program we did called Tradition Tradition, which has turned into a program that I do called Our History. This should be day one in the academy. And th the point we try to make is, you know, when we get to our first day of our, our training in our department, our training at the fire academy, wherever it is, you know, our, the history of the fire service is kind of just briefed over. It's just kind of skip past. It's like, well, they had Dalmatians, they had steam fire engines, and this is what we do, and then we move on to something else. Where we should be spending time explaining to our new firefighters why we exist and where it all came from. Getting into the history, the true stories. I mean, the firefighters, God love them. They're some of the best people on the face of the earth, but they're some of the best fairy tale tellers anywhere. And we tend to fabricate or we tend to kind of make some things up or or add our own ending to things, but, but to truly understand, you know, why we exist, why we do the things we do, you've got to get back into our history. And, and, and on a, while we're talking about that, what about your department's history? Who in your department is serving as a department's historian? Do you have more than one person that records all your historical events, whether it's fires, uh, new stations, everything else? What about uh, your apparatus, new and, and, and past, and, and how about past and present members? Um, keeping, hanging on to those older things. Uh, so many fire departments that are throwing away their heritage, whether it's journals, um, old light bars, radios, things. There's, I mean, if, if we don't start hanging on and preserving our history, it's going to disappear. It's going to disappear like so many other things, and we're going to be just kind of making stuff up as we go along. The history of the fire service is, is incredibly important as to how we do things and understanding why we wear the badge and why we wear the uniform. As a firefighter, as an officer, as a chief even, haven't you ever asked why? Haven't you ever asked why do we wear those? Well, you know, they're, they're, they're called speaking trumpets, not bugles. They don't play music. There's so many things. You know, why red paint in the fire service? Where, where pipe poles came from? I mean, there's so many things. Why, we, why do we do what we do when it comes to uh, fire inspections and pre-plans? All goes back to all those disasters and a lot, a lot of dead people. That's why we exist. Truly what the Maltese Cross stands for. Our history is incredible. There's some great resources out there for it. Start digging into it. Look into why we're here. Not just the leather helmets. Start with everything. Go back in time to Jamestown and move all the way forward to where we're at now. There's some great information out there. You know, take ownership of the fire service, but understand the history and where it all came from. Those are your Pride and Ownership Minutes for today. I'm Rick Lasky, and be safe.